non-living beings. Living beings grow, reproduce and die. Living and non-living beings. Living beings grow, reproduce and die. Do you know what is a living being and a non-living being? Didi, uh, I'm not sure about that. It's okay. I will explain. Let's first learn about living beings. Natural elements like air, water and sunlight are essential factors for living beings. Living beings grow, reproduce and die. They require food for growth and reproduction. So, Didi, is that dog a living being? Yes, a dog, rabbit, giraffe, tree, myself and you are all living beings. I got it, Didi. Now, what about non-living beings? Hmm, okay, I will explain. In our house, you have seen a table, chair, curtains, carpet, TV, vase with flour. They are non-living beings because they do not require food or water as they do not grow or reproduce and they do not breathe or move. They are any object we find around us. Importantly, they do not live. Now, are you clear about non-living beings? Yes, Didi, I understand. Okay, can you show me a non-living being? Sure. Look, Didi, this kite is a non-living being. This bench is a non-living being, isn't it? Yeah, you smarty. Mm, yep, I am. I have learned both living and non-living beings. Uh, Didi? Yes, what is it? What about this leaf? Yeah, you tell me. I think it's dead, but... Hmm, sometimes we find it difficult to identify living, non-living and once living. Didi, how do you explain that? Yes, I will. Look there. The snail on the tree stump is a living being. The tree stump is dead. When the life cycle of the tree has ended, it is known better as once living creature. So you got it? Yes, Didi. So this leaf was once alive, right Didi? Yes, that's correct. Wow, it's really amazing. I think I have better understanding of our world. That's good. We still have a long way to go. Haha, <laughs> I'm up for it Didi.